Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I'm the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. As you can tell, the sun is uh, just coming up. It's just starting to. Squatter and I are out here enjoying that. It's really an interesting sight. I just got done clothing the crew. I completely forgot to do that. Rony Condorian at your service. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into it. Um, I think I need to get a little bit of the wood off this island. I don't know that I'm going to tame anything on here. I've jotted down what I've found on here so far. I'm kind of eager to get into the colder region. You guys have got me kind of curious about it now, and I've talked about going there, and we've not gotten there yet. Uh, and I'd like to get there. Uh, we have 750 wood. It'd be kind of cool to have a little bit of these other kinds of woods here, too. Um, so I'm thinking about grabbing a little bit of that. I'm not going to grab an elephant. Uh, there's a couple here on the beach. There's an 18 male and a 2. And I'm not interested in uh, either one. Last episode, we had that 36, which would have been great. This is a Let's Play, so those of you who might be new watching, uh, I take you with me. We're, we're pretty much doing the whole thing on our own, step-by-step uh, -step here on the videos. So, we got the girls. Uh, let me turn on my light so you guys can see a little bit better. I probably should wait for the sun to come up. Let's see. You guys don't want to watch me chop wood anyway, so let's see what we have here. Uh, that's the light wood, so let's grab some of that. I think I'm okay on thatch. Each one of these guys can carry a bit of wood on them. Same here. Light wood. Okay. And I know we saw... Um, I think strong wood. As we went around last episode. But what I want to do is I want to head south. Uh, you take that. Oh, boy. You've got a bunch of berries on you, too. That just buried you in that weight, huh? How about that and that? I thought I checked them all, and I thought I cleaned them all off, but I must have missed one. Okay, there we go. That's good for you. Always that last one that wants to get in and can't, and they just sit there and march like that. I <laughs> uh, hope everyone's doing great. Okay, here's strong wooden rushes. Okay, so does this strong wood too now? No, it's going to be light wood. So it's the strong wood that's in the little guys right here. Okay, that's good. That's good. It won't take me long to get this. Nice. Okay, beautiful. And, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to gather up just a little bit more of this, really. And then I'm going to set sail. We are going to go south one more tile. And I think what we're going to be in is kind of the start of that next area. Let's go to the map. Every time I do this, it seems like I get attacked from behind. Uh, if we hit head south, H6, I think think is the beginning of our tundra if i'm not mistaken it looks like there's some snow back down in there and all that good stuff the islands look pretty interesting it's hard to get in there and take a look at them but when we get into that tile we'll pull it up and, and take a look better but that one on the right the first one on the right be kind of cool if you go in in that inlet speaking of which a comment last episode thank you for it said that they can get their brig back into that cove uh through that inlet that we checked last episode where the uh the big inlet is there on the western side of the island. Uh, so apparently you can get a brig back in there. Oh, the pig's just walking, walking, walking. Uh, I probably should grab some of the elderberries too. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them right here. I mean, we could take a couple hundred more of those and take them with us and they'd be good to have. I wish you could grow them. I don't think you can. But it'd be cool if you could. Okay. You could take... No, you can't take all that. Let me drop that on you. Your weight's up. You're up. And you're up. So I think what I could do is possibly do that. And do that. And everybody's got their, their fill. And then maybe what I could do as well while I'm out here, since I'm going to be... They're going to be weighted down. I'm weighted down. Oh, I put a food trough on the ship as well so we could stock it with food for the uh, the animals and stuff. Oh, yeah, I don't even need to do all these. I just want a couple hundred. I don't know how long they're going to last for me, but I believe there are recipes that specifically call for elderberry, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're further along, I think, yeah, elderberries is definitely what you want to hold on to if you can. We're a couple hundred now. Two thirty-four. I think I'm going to grab just a few more. I'll just keep you with me. We'll just jump back on the ship. We'll see how that goes. These guys are weighted down pretty good. They should be able to hop on, though. 
And I'll take that fiber with me, too. There we go. All right, beautiful. Perfect. Uh, also worked on my food uh, off camera there, too. I went ahead and did the, the shout method where you just yell by pushing the delete key and running your stamina down. I did that as well. How are we doing here? I don't want nothing coming up and trying to eat me. There we go. Beautiful. Now they should come right in, hopefully. Yeah, here we go. Alright, give me one more. Uh, I see three names in here, I think. I hope they're all on here. Yes, they are. Okay, perfect. So yeah, now I'm going to unload them and get all that stuff put away. Here's the feeding trough. I put it up here just because it just kind of makes sense to have it up here. I've got a bit of food in it, but I'm going to go ahead and stock it up some more. And everybody can just stand still, <clears throat> and we're good to go. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we are setting off and heading south. I probably, you know, should I or shouldn't I have gone after the animals here? I don't know. A tiger just showed up on the beach right there, too, and started attacking everything. So, you know, there's tigers on here, too. I believe I killed one uh, just after finishing the record last episode. I ran into one uh, just kind of back in the jungle. You know, we cut, kind of walked across the entire island. Let's get a move on here now. I think we're far enough away from shore. I've managed to actually get myself stuck once. Well, kind of twice, actually. But uh, so far, the sailing has been okay. Been okay. But yeah, I do want to head south. Ships of the Damned right there already. Look at there. Yeah, one of you mentioned that you guys are living on this island. Oh, yeah, there's a whole river through there. That's pretty cool. That's fresh water, right? Okay, so I gotta remember that, too. Fresh water. Oh, wow, that'd be pretty cool. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be fresh water, so that would be a good one. I'm gonna remember that island. I, that, it's just a nice big island, you know? It would take me a long time to explore this island thoroughly. It would take a very long time, I think. It's good that we're going to kind of get a little run around the side of it. we got like an inlet right here, too. Oh, there's another waterfall. Oh, wow. That's pretty spectacular. Map. Oh, we've got a ways to go. We're going to have to backtrack a little bit, even. So, two waterfalls coming off in little areas like that. You could easily uh, probably do something there where you could pull right in and, and anchor and have your base right there at the waterfall on the edge of that rock. Do the rest of your build on the outside here in the ocean. Edge. That could be kind of cool. I love seeing places like that. It's fun to kind of just let your imagination go for a little bit and say, Oh, you know, what, what could you do with that? It's pretty cool. I like that a lot about the game. It's fun. All right, so we left them behind. I don't have the sexton out, but I'm just going to head south. That's all there is to it. Uh, maybe I should stop and do it. It's just... Yeah, I should probably stop to do it. What have you mentioned I should go as high as 11 stars? Well, let's, go ahead and, let's go ahead and stop the ship. I'll get the sexton out. I'll get ourselves uh, lined up with that and get that going. There's another island over there with some kind of a... Kind of a... Like, overpass or... Uh, inlet right there too with made of rock which is pretty cool uh, so where did I put that thing I think it's in in the cabin actually uh, yeah there it is okay I uh, can't use number six huh? all right so we'll do that all right so I'll be back as soon as we uh, you know set sail again I'm at nine there's ten you said I should get like seven thousand All right, awesome. Uh, yeah, seven thousand one hundred ninety-four left. Oh my gosh, that's gonna, that's like, that's gonna last a good long time. Thank you very much for that tip. Wunderbar. All right, so let's get back to sailing, and then I'll come back. Uh, food, water's all doing good. You know, there's that's something I don't know if you guys think about too. But before I head out to sea, I make sure I get my food up. I got my vitamin buff on right now. I got squatter on my shoulder, so I'm doing pretty good in that regard. I even gave up the idea about getting a parrot right now for the sole fact that we're not going to be living in a warmer climate. So I kind of gave up that idea. There's nothing here, is it? I just right-click to do that in case you don't know. 
kind of brings you up above the ship a little bit more so you can see. And wow, look at this. We're going to have nice wind for us today. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Okay. Okay, we're going into H6. What does it say the uh, area is? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, it just changed dramatically. <laughs> it is definitely cold here. Let's check the map. Yeah, let's head over to this one first. We'll kind of scoot around the other side and see if we can take a look at that inlet from that side of it and see if there's anything here of interest to us. Brigantine has level. Let's go ahead and put... Uh, I keep adding sturdiness to it. Uh, I've got my fur armor in our cabin in the chest. And I think I've got a couple of campfires made too. I'm not sure about that. That's probably one of the first things I should get made is a couple of campfires because it's going to be going to be chilly. That's what you guys tell me. It gets pretty cold. I'm going to miss it if I keep going this direction. I need to turn. Okay, it's going to take me a little while to get there, but yeah, the inlet should be right over here somewhere. So I'm going to take a look for that and see if I can find it. And uh, we'll just start taking a look at islands and see if something speaks to us. We got some ships of the damned off the shore. There's a sunken treasure there. But they're, of course, guarding that. What if that means that's a really good one? When you find ships of the damned near them? Anytime I see the sunken ships, I look for ships of the damned. I feel like they're always going to be nearby, something like that. Uh, so far, we're not getting cold, but then again, it is uh, daytime. What time is it, anyways? It is 4.17, so it's going to be getting dark here in a little bit. It is very late afternoon. We're almost there. I think we're good right about here. I'll try to swing the nose in, the bow, as far as I can. And then, uh, gonna use that area. It's just easier for me to get the animals up when I can come up over the bow and bring them that direction because I've got all this part of the ship to kind of run back on. And if they're following you low, they seem to hop up really quick, sometimes right with you, which is okay. It's better to have them on the ship quickly than, than you know, having it drag. Oh, there's a cow. We need one of those. This is an interesting island. I do. There we go. We need to remember to make another one, though. Uh, or a couple more, actually, and have them as backup in there so we don't have to worry about making them when we get to where we get. So let's do this <clears throat> and this so we don't have to fix the uh, ship. Excuse me. Let's put this away. I'm kind of excited about this. I've been wanting to get here just to see what it is. We, we only came to a snow island once so far in the series that I've done. Only once. Uh, what do we have crawling around on the ground out here? It's just sheep and 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 a and a and a, and a thing, <laughs> a, a, a cow. That's all I see so far. Sawfield Key. Ronan's ready for a fight. Oh, this is this is pretty awesome. I could see I could see these these islands being interesting. I can. The foliage is very different from the rest. I kind of like the snow on the mountains and stuff. See, in the winter time when I'm playing, I really don't want to live in the cold. We talked about that in, in past seasons as well. We probably could have gotten in a little bit further, I think. All right, I'm gonna hang out and wait, uh, get those campfires made, and then I'll come back and we will proceed forward. We'll go, you know, take a look at the island. Welcome back. I'm up here on the sails, looking down at the uh, wildlife that's been roaming around. There was a level 20 female bear. She's not the greatest, but we always have kind of a starter bear that we get with. And then uh, I also saw a level 18 lion, gray and white. And I've been trying to find that lion, and I just can't seem to find it again. That cow's dead. Maybe. Uh, but the lion was down the beach here and has made it all the way through here and was back in this area now, and I can't seem to track it down anywhere. There's more bears back in there. There's a, there's a female three, a two, 
And a three. Okay, so those are little ones. There was a female 20 up here, uh, just in right in front of here. So I was thinking this would be a great place to drop the trap. But I'm going to go ahead and get off the ship, and we're going to take a walk and see uh, what we can find. We'll see if the boars can handle uh, getting into fights with some of the stuff that we're going to encounter on this island here. Uh, there's some, some bigger, tougher animals for sure, and the boars are not the strongest creatures in the world anymore. But they should help us, and we'll have to try to help them as well. I should make myself armor, but I've not done that yet. Uh, I guess I'm, I still feel like I'm kind of at the starter stage right now, so I'm just kind of, just, you know, just playing it and finding out where I'm at and what I'm looking forward to live in. And then I'll get all that kind of stuff put together. Not that I think we're doing poorly. No, I think we're doing just fine. Let's make sure this is reloaded. Okay, this is fully loaded. And I've made more. I'm cold, it says. Look at this. Okay. Okay, it started to snow as soon as we got on here. Oh, there it goes. It went away. Okay. What we got here? Bilberry. Okay. Cotton, all right. Bilberry and cotton. Uh, you know what I think? Oh, you guys are all on attack my target? Okay, beautiful. Where is Bernice? No chives, I'm sorry. At least I could F2 her and have a little extra oomph when I'm, you know, attacking. We'll just be careful not to run her down on stamina. Looks like we might have some metal nodes here. This rock looks a little different. What's this here? Kalsadani. Oh, here's some red ones too. Oh, there's that 20, I bet. Pink salt. Oh, really? Okay. Stone. It's just stone. Hmm. It looks pretty cool. I like the colors of the rocks. I may go for a bear. If I find... Oh, there's a statue over here. What do we got here? Um, he looks pretty happy. He's holding what looks like uh, possibly a bunch of pine cones, maybe? Ravens. Oh, man, there's bears all over this island. There's horses, too, which I thought was pretty neat. Uh, let's see what we got here. Soft wood and roots. Okay, so that's the third... I think that's the, like the third wood we found now. It's really tough to see back in to this area. I've got some campfires on me too. Oh, here we go. We've got uh, a cow laying here dead. But well, there's another cow standing right, walking right there. I noticed the lion covers a lot of ground, and they cover it really fast. I spent quite a bit of time watching it, and it, it was losing me a lot. Then again, I'd catch another animal that I was seeing and take a look at that, too. But there's lions on the island, which is pretty cool. I think if we put the trap right there on shore next to us, I think we'd probably be pretty good. It's a sweet looking crow with the blue. Get out of here. What do you think you're doing? Okay, we got animals running up ahead. Okay, we got a lion up here, it looks like. Possibly. There's a male bear, 20. I can't get him. Can't get a bead on him. They don't run very far, and then they seem to lose him. Look at all the bears, though, here. It's just unbelievable. That's going to be kind of the trick, I think, is to draw just a bear in. I think what I'm going to have to do is draw them in, uh, the lower level ones, as best I can solo, kill them off, and then get the larger one. There's a female 20 as well. There's a dead wolf. Lots of bulls and cows as well as what I've been seeing. There's a really nice looking horse. He's got like racing stripes on them. Let's 
Let's head down here where it's going to be a little bit more dangerous. I like how big these beaches are, and it's really just kind of a, a nice... Um, uh, well, in Minnesota, the northern part of Minnesota, the rock looks just like this in the water. Just that kind of that smooth, tumbled stone. Wow. Look at all the wolves dead in here. The bulls must be killing the wolves. Yeah, it's that male 20. Okay. Excuse me, horse. Got something on the ground here. Uh, is this nothing? Inventory. I think. I can put those up there. Let's grab this out so we have it. I'm kind of curious as to what if this is anything we can actually get. Gotta wait for the cooldown. There we go. Wild turnip and turnip seeds. Oh, really? Nice. There's a new food. A lot of animals stuck in these reeds and stuff, I've noticed. Female 20. See what I mean? Oh, wow. Look at that. That's really cool looking, isn't it? Whew. Chilly. That's quite the ledge right there, though, in front of us. You see that? Uh, I need to check. You know what I did not notice on that big island? And if you're you're living on it and you're watching and uh, you comment on the fact that you were you and your uh, group are on that island that we were just at before, <laughs> um, did you find metal nodes on there? That's, that's kind of key for me, too, is metal nodes. I want to make sure I have metal. Limestone. I guess what I could do is just set up that farmhouse. Huh? It would get, it would get me the metal out. Well, I don't know. Unless it's on a metal node, will it gather metal from the stone? I don't know. I don't think it does. You guys said you've placed them next to uh, crystal and gem and metal, and you get a nice return from that. Oh, level one seven. So there's a lot of animals that are getting stuck. I'm, I've seen multiples now. Like that. I think you guys have probably been with me when I've spotted them, too. Where that lion went, I have no idea. But I like the way this looks. I do. I like these big, uh, big granite stone type faces and stuff. It looks really neat in here. What's this one? This one's a nice looking horse. I like this one. Got that nice uh, cream color to it with the black mane. I like that. I like my pets, people. I like my pets. Is this the same thing over here? Just stone? Yeah, it's just stone. What's this over here, though? Arctic raspberries. Oh, really? You guys want some Arctic raspberries? Holy moly. Those sound good, huh? I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see some spiders. Lots of wolves, which is cool. I've never had a wolf. Lots and lots of bears. I guess I gotta use my spy scope. Level 13. So getting a bear won't be an issue. Like I said, we could just kill off the ones we don't want first as we kind of separate them, and then we grab the one we do want, get it in the, get it in the pen. We're just kind of cruising the outside of the island in today's episode to give it a good look. I, I like it so far. I'm pretty happy with uh, this kind of terrain this time around. Limestone. Calcedony. Okay, so I don't see any metal yet. What about this smooth rock right here? Another dead wolf. Ah, iridium. There's There's the stone. It's in that one there. Lots of dead wolves. I thought I saw a bear. Oh, there goes a cobra and a boar fighting each other. We got cobra. So we'd have to backtrack one tile. 
just go north a little bit to get to where we can get an elephant and a giraffe. I mean, that is, that's pretty sweet. It's not far away. We've got salt, too. Okay. I'm hoping to find metal nodes. Oh, there's a lion up ahead. It's white. I think. A male lion level four. And he is white. He's beautiful. He's pretty tiny. There's another horse. There's another bear. There's another bear there. Level one. Jeez, there's so many bears. It's unbelievable. That's the, probably the third lion I've seen. Maybe the second one. Hmm. Probably good to uh, go ahead and kill him as we get over here. The odds of us bumping into another animal are pretty good, though. Maybe I can get over the top of this and shoot him a few times before he gets here. There we go. Good. Put him down nice and quick. Let's go ahead and harvest him, too. Roots, softwood, okay, animal meat. There we go, give me some of that hide too. Yeah, I don't know that these guys would do too well with, um... Uh, oh god, what are you running from? What are you running from? Me? <laughs> it's probably running from me. Why do I feel like I've all of a sudden... Oh, I've got a bunch of wood on me. Okay, so let's drop that. Let's drop that. There we go. Let's head back this way just a little bit and see. I'm trying to see if there's any kind of waterfall or a pool of water or anything like that on this island. It's not very big. Oh, this looks like, uh, looks like carrots. Well, that's the turnips. Okay, that's more turnips. All right. They're sitting above the land, though. Turnip. Um, God, I want to say that this is the food that's the best for taming the giraffe. The turnip. I don't know. Yes, are they going to eat these if they're in their inventory? They probably will eat some of them, but I'm okay with that. Oh, hold on. Let's give you some stamina. I probably should be boosting their melee damage, but... Uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of this stuff just sitting here. Oh, look at that. Now the hog is giving me seeds. I don't think the pigs used to give seed. There's a stuck cow, there's a bear. Wow. You could, yeah, we could definitely set the trap up right where we are with the ship and probably score a bear pretty quick. Next episode would be nice. Not to mention a horse would be really great. Just something we could put a cart behind, including the bear. It's a huge help when it comes to the building. Uh, it looks a little different over this way. Let's go on, uh, let's go through here. Oh, wow, yeah, it's a dangerous place. Okay, so armor is a definite must. I've got to get my armor made. For sure. There's a wide variety of animals on here. There's a 13 female. At any time on this island, we will be able to capture us a nice bear, I think. We have the honey to tame it, so that should go really well. We just need to set up the uh, the pen. That's all. And have we found we found fruit and vegetable on here, so we're good to go. Fruit, vegetable. We've got the meat and the fish as well. So all those things are available to us. Now there's some pink trees. I see them up there, but there's one down here. Let's go check this pink tree and see if it's something different. We'll head back towards kind of the beach area here. We should probably check the map, too, and see exactly where we are. 
I did not have to reset when I got here. The ship did show up on the map where it is right now, so we were good to, to just stay here. Awesome. We're a little ways from home, but we're okay. Soft wooden roots. Okay, so the pink tree doesn't matter. It's just a, it's just a pretty tree. Oh, bull would be cool too. You guys mentioned that, uh, and you're right, absolutely right about it. But the cows and the bulls uh, can carry more weight, so it'd be better to have like three or four cows right now than the three boars. Well, we can get cows. Cows are easy to get. Oh, there's okay, that's a bear. First, I thought those were tiger stripes. Oh, there we go. There's a big fella. There's a big fella. Oh, he's a long ways from the ship, though. He is a good distance from the ship. I wonder why they put the racing stripes on him. <laughs> That's what I liked about our last bear, is he had no, no, no real visible stripes. He just looked like a big old brown bear. But that's a 34. That's pretty good. 36 is the highest on the vanilla. Nothing that jumps out and says, hey, I'm a metal node. That doesn't have, no, oh, oh, let's get off of her so she can, uh, you know, get her stamina back. Take a look around a little bit more, too. What is this over here? Oh, some, some kind of plant in the water. There's a one, a 34 male. Wow, that would be really sweet. I think the odds of us getting something like that, too, is going to be very good with just the amount of the... It's just so many bears on this island. It's amazing. If we picked an area to set up, we could do a little something on it. Uh, yeah, we could do this. We just need to kind of, yeah, just keep following this around. It's bigger than I thought. You know that? The center isn't probably very big, but here we are. More dead wolves. They are everywhere. So that's going to be a constant thing, is the wolves. We may even have to do build an actual uh, protective area around our base this time around. We had a wall on around our, our village, but I think you know what I mean. I don't want to do a village again this time. I want to do uh, a base this time again. Just a base. Aha. Uh -huh. What's this up here? Nice. Okay, so there's the other crystal or gem up here or both. That is awesome. Hey, chicken. How are the wolves? Level 10? I've not checked the other levels on them. There are... You guys are right. You said that when I got here, I would see tons of animals. And yeah, you are 100% right. There are tons and tons of animals on these beaches in the tundra area. Is that an incentive to get people to live in this area? Possibly. I love the fact there's lions on here, too. I don't think we've had a lion since... We've had tigers mostly, but I think we had a lion in Season 1, didn't we? A lion? I think we did. That is a beautiful rock face. Look at that view right there. Holy cow. That is amazing. I love that. No metal, though. It doesn't even irritate me that there's some weird statue out in the bay. I'm not usually one that likes an area that's got um, a statue on it so much. This one definitely has one, though. I'm willing to bet we can walk all the way over to this other island. Oh, look at you. You're an awesome-looking horse, too. Let's see how deep this is. Let's see what's over here. Oh, yeah. Walk it. Yeah. 
I wonder if you'd have to worry about the... Yeah, the lions and stuff will spawn on here, too. It just makes sense that they would, right? You would think they would. You notice I've got my sword on number four. That way, if I do get grabbed by a lion or picked up or something like that, I could just grab them forward and start swinging. It'll kill me, though. I really need to get that armor made. That's going to have to be a priority here. Did they change to where you could put a cart on a bull now? I don't think it's been changed. Level 9. Looks like it's getting dark. Look at him hiding in the bushes there. Holy cow. Uh, I'm not very hungry, but my vitamin buff has definitely gone away. I'm well, surprised. Some of you said to get my fortitude up even more. I'm just concerned about that because when I it's hard to get the vitamin thing then. Or do I do that instead of having the vitamin? It's just um, when your vitamins drop, you start not doing too well. And I've noticed that when I have a lot of um, fortitude, I don't have to eat nearly as often. And I don't mind the food thing. It's fine. Uh, what do we have over here? Is this anything different here? I don't think it is. Limestone. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I think we're out on an island here. Yeah, we're on this back island here. Okay. I've got some campfires on me, so if, if worse comes to worse, I can just put down a campfire, kill a chicken, you know, and then we can eat. It'll be fine. I love it. This is really cool. Like the, the, the Tundra Island we were on in Season 2 or 3, uh, 2, um, it was that really rocky shoreline, super rocky shoreline, and this is not like that. It says I'm cold. Let's see if I put... It's probably because I'm wet. Still cold. Oh, not anymore. Now I'm cold again. Maybe I'll have a problem with the cold here tonight. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot drink that water. I can't really see back in there. That's not a very safe thing to do. Uh, more of the same. Bears, chickens, uh, boars, pigs, I should say, lions, all three. We probably should have gone up and checked out that crystal, see what it was. Okay, we're on the other side of the island, actually all here. What is this? It's turnip, okay. Oh, hello, horse. Another another bull. Yeah, that's just oh my god, there's so many of them. I think any side of this island you'd go on. And it would be a spot where you're, you're going to get lucky and tame all kinds of stuff. It's just going to come up on you while you're building and working and stuff like that. You're just going to run into that opportunity. I always feel like it's kind of an, uh, an opportunity of chance. The, the, uh, the situation just kind of presents itself, but then you, you go ahead and do it. I mean, we've set out and actually tamed some animals with attention, but sometimes we've just kind of waited, and sure enough, the right thing comes along, and we get it. I kind of like doing it that way. Another one. Holy cow. 
That's got to be, I don't know, how many bears do you think that is? It's just so many. I mean, the other islands didn't have anything on it, it seemed like. Everybody getting through all right? There we go. Well, let's grab this map real quick. I'm kind of working my way back to the ship right now. What bothers me about this is I've not said, seen something that just says it's a metal node. But that doesn't mean anything. Up on any one of these cliff sides it could be. Wow, you look like an old timer, don't you? Look at you. I would love to have a bear of that color. Statue's not great either. Eh, it's alright. I'm sure there's ancient lore behind it. Let me, uh, let me work my way back to the ship, and then I'll come back. Oh, look at this. I started freezing almost immediately getting into this water. It's a little bit deep. Oh, it's going to get a lot deeper here. I'm freezing. I'm going to start taking some taking some damage right now. I thought it might be shallow like it is in all the places, but it's not the case. It's kind of a horrible way to find out this. But that's okay. We'll be fine. I've got the campfires on me. We just have to chop a tree down and stick some wood in here. We'll be okay. Yep. There's a rock. I do like how these islands look. I do. I know, I know. Let's let's slap down a campfire. I know, you're chilly. You're very chilly. Get your, get your axe out. Come on now. You're chilly. Get some wood. There we go. Right back down here. This is kind of an interesting situation. Now instead of being hot. I'm chilly. I'm cold. There we go. And my health is starting to come back up because squatter's on my shoulder. So no worries there. I am going to try to make my way back to uh, the ship overnight so that we can kind of discuss what to do next here. I need to eat too. Food. Hey, you hit me. <laughs> Give me that meat. Oh, perfect timing. I needed some fish. Ray just washed up on shore. That answers that. I was wondering if we had to raise in the water. And uh, we do. All right, beautiful. Uh, I could just eat, and then when the sun comes up, we'll resume kind of scouting out the island a little bit. I don't have to head back right now. We seem to be just fine. Uh-oh. Cold front. It's okay. I got extra campfires. We'll see if there'll be enough. Ooh, stay close to the fire. <laughs> Cold front begun. Okay, that's not going to be enough. This is a good little thing here. Let's see what happens. There we go. This is a good sign. We have a new tree here. Wet wood, wet wood, roots, and resin. That's pretty nice. Just stone, okay. Yeah, I've still not found anything that is a solid metal node on this island. I'm heading back towards the ship right now. Uh, at least I think I am. Yeah, I am. And then I'll get back to the ship 
And I don't know, I think we might... I really like these islands. Like, my imagination's running pretty wild with this stuff. It's pretty cool. These ledges up above look amazing. There's bound to be some goodness up there that we could uh, take part in. Not to mention to live. Do another elevator system. That could be kind of cool. We did the one. Anyways, I'll come back. The sun is getting ready to come up. It's just about, I think it's about 4 a.m. right now. Or at least close to it. Yeah, it's a little after 4 a.m. So the sun should be back up by the time I get back to the ship. Welcome back. That is going to have to wrap it up for me. Wow, this is a really good island. However, let's take a look at the map. Okay, mode. Subtract it on out of here. Let me turn around so you guys can see a little bit better, too. There we go. I wouldn't mind checking that one out south of us. I would not mind it. It looks like it's got a nice big kind of curved area on the front there. What I'm liking is these elevated rocks that aren't too elevated, not too high. Uh, we found several of those. Now, whether or not you can actually park a ship is beyond me uh, back in some of these areas. I don't think you can. Uh, let's just leave you guys on. No follow there for a second. Uh, but, you know, again, we have just kind of... We kind of just scraped the island, really. We didn't really see much uh, other than the edge. There's all kinds of stuff back in here and in the middle and everything. So, And then uh, we saw crystal, too. At least what looked like crystal or quartz. Uh, we found what quartz and gem in the last ones that looked like that. So it doesn't mean it's the same thing here. But there is that on the island as well. So I'm, th I'm kind of thinking that what we see here is probably on... Maybe all four of these, either that or they've they've changed it up so much on all four different islands that you could do all four islands and get, you know, all kinds of different stuff. Another question, the farmhouse, if I set that down in an area where the rocks like this have iridium in them, they have metal in them, it should grab that metal out, I would think, at a certain radius. Because you could set it up on the beach uh, say, well, let's, let's, let's take our, our, our bit of protection here with us. We're going to get a bear, that's for sure. There we go. Yeah, I, if we were to set it up in an area over here like this is, we would be getting stone, probably flint, uh, whatever kind of foods are back in here. And I would think it would also give us a bit of iridium, too, because we would have rocks like this in the mix. That's not a rock we can actually break. If we could find a good spot to place it, it would be helpful, especially on an island that does not have metal nodes on it, because right now, again, I don't believe I've seen any metal nodes. Uh, and it's the metal and the stone that I would want the farmhouse for. That way, I, I, I guess I wouldn't have to go out and get a rhino, really. Oh, well, there's some crystal sitting right here. It's not sitting. It's, it's floating in the air. I've got my climbing picks on me. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay. That doesn't look right. I guess we could find out what's in here, I think. Let me get out of first. Garnet. Is this a... Oh, that, okay, that's pure iridium right there. Uh-huh. These are all pure iridium rock stones up here. Very good, I see. Now, the trick for this, well, first of all, it looks ridiculous. I'm hoping the other islands will have this on there too. 
That almost looks like a radish instead of a beet. And that looks like potatoes down there. Is that potatoes right there? Those are potatoes. I wonder if I can actually walk down there to get some of those. And I think this is either a radish or a is this a radish right here? This is weird. <laughs> Looks like a radish. Maybe it's a beet? That's a wild turnip. Okay, but this is definitely potatoes. It's got to be, right? Aha, uh -huh, four potato seeds. Oh, that's very awesome. Uh, there's some more right down there. Can I get through here to get to the pigs if I go down this way? I think I can. Oh, there's some more potatoes right here. Oh, this is kind of ridiculous, huh? I don't think I want to live on an island that's got a bunch of broken uh, pieces to it, you know? This is very broken right here. There's some more potato seeds. Inventory. We've picked up two different kinds of seeds today. The potato seed is great to see. Uh, looks like the, the chili climate is where a lot of the interesting foods are. Although I think you can find them also in the... Uh, I shouldn't say that. It's not really... The, it's not exactly true. You could actually build something right here to get up on top of that and harvest it. It wouldn't be the end of the world if we lived on an island like this and it had a, you know, a crappy little thing like that going on. We could definitely, you know, get over that, I think. Or what we do is put the farmhouse down kind of right here and it would get us... Oh my god, we put a farmhouse down and we'd have that stuff for days. Just for absolute days. Never mind. Yeah, we could put a farmhouse down here and it should... Oh, okay, right. Who am I kidding? They're like, uh, no, we can't run like that. But yeah, you could. You could put one there, and it would probably harvest up a bunch of that stuff within the radius. That would be pretty cool. So I was about to go, and then look what I did. I went off, and we, we climbed a little bit of a mountain and found some really good stuff up there, too. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm hot. I was cold all night. Now I'm hot. That'll take care of it. Yeah, this, this, here's, this here is some shore, North Shore ocean water. It's chilly. All right, that is going to have to wrap up the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me, comment, subscribe, and share. I am the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.